Well, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your April reading. Hope you are amazing. So we are going to jump right in. We're going to look at the Oracle cards first, and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay. So let's see what we have for you. Hero, heroine in the upright. Um, passion for a journey of personal empowerment. Beautiful. Um, the first thing I'm hearing is I'm taking my power back. So no matter how hard something looks, how tough it is, and it almost feels not emotional, but something deeper than surface level situation, like a, a money problem or work problem. Um, you're saying to yourself, you know what, I'm going to get over that hump. You know, I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to push it back to later. I'm dealing with this now, you know, um, and I'm going to be positive about it and make it happen. Empaths, reflect and redirect your energy. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is this is like. You can try to ignore something or you can try to act like something isn't happening, but there comes a point where it doesn't help you fix it or resolve the issue. Um, I get that vibe from you, Scorpio, that you're just like facing everything head on when it comes to April. Any kind of emotional thing or thing that seems pretty tough for you to have to deal with, you're just facing it. No no issues, no problems. You know what I mean? Like you're not making excuses. <laughs> you're just making it happen. Okay. Then we have status quo, family, and all tied up. Yeah. Expressing yourself, being who it is that you want to be, regardless of what everyone else wants for you. Um, making a decision for yourself but it's interesting because I feel like you have thought about following the status quo or maybe doing what your family does or following some sort of tradition you know but then it it comes to a point where you can't keep doing that and be happy I guess you know so then we have rainbow blessings wake up call ancient force yeah this is going from a a predetermined destiny like following tradition or doing what every everyone else does or listening to your family listening to the rules i guess you can say um, and then realizing that maybe your path is different or your situation is different and diving into what it means to untangle that type of mess. Okay. <laughs> so let's get into your cards and see what they say. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio Scorpio Okay, we're starting off with the Ace of Wands Page of Coins Ace of Coins Mm-hmm Hangman. Interesting. Two of Cups. Ten of Swords. Eight of Cups. Five of Swords. Knight of Coins. Um, in April, you're motivated by something. Um, it feels like you've made a decision. You have an understanding. There's something that interests, is interesting you. 
it's it's like you're interested or excited about something. It feels internal. But it's not that you're keeping it a secret. You're just not like blasting it into the world, I feel like. Um, like a plan or idea or something that you're into. But you've already started taking steps or making something happen. There's something that you want for your life. This feels very internal. It feels like you're not telling the world. You're maybe not telling your family. You're maybe not expressing it out loud. But also, you're still living it. You're still making it happen. You're still indulging in it. You're still practicing. You're still working on something. So I had to lighten up the camera. But it feels like you're keeping it quiet. I'm not going to say a secret, but you're keeping something quiet. A relationship? A relationship, a commitment? Something that you definitely have an emotional attachment to. And I feel like as the month goes on, though, Scorpio... You get really tired of doing that because you feel like one of the steps is being out in the open or expressing it, um, living publicly, if you will. So you're working on changing that. Saying how you feel, letting everyone know, maybe even the person you're keeping it from. It just, it feels very much in here like I'm tired of holding this in. And you're going to, it's like you're going to let something out. You're going to express something and then deal with the consequences and repercussions. It's almost like towards the end here, it doesn't matter to you anymore. You're like, I really have already made the decision. Now I just have to live in that, you know? Now I just have to actively participate in it. Out in the open. Out in the wild. <laughs> this is interesting. Wow. Wow. You're really head over heels for either for someone or something that you're doing. Because it could be either one. Um... So this is like, okay, there's a couple things that I said. There's a lot of things I see in here. I see someone saying yes, right? Like someone being just as eager to be or deal with someone else. Ready to start things, ready to get it going, ready to make it happen. Two people doing that. Um. I also see that if you've been working on some sort of project or wanting to start some sort of business, you're getting started on that. But this is more of a private issue. This is more internally of a, a deciding, a coming together, um, and ac accepting of how things are. It feels intimate, okay? Um, not... It doesn't feel public. You're super excited about building something with someone, starting brand new, starting this new company. It's like you're excited to get it done. You're excited to take the next steps. It's like you're all in, full force, um... Yeah, that's all. <laughs> mm. It's 
it's like you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to take place, but emotionally you're okay with it. Like emotionally, you know that you're happy, that what you've created or what you're doing makes you happy. So regardless, I feel like Scorpio of what other people think or how other people feel, it still makes you happy. It's still something you want to do. It's something that means a lot to you So or someone. So it just doesn't matter to you. This is very gung-ho energy. It's hard to... Like, you're so adamant about this. You understand the miracle of what this is. That's how I'll say it, you know? Um, And then I feel like you're trying to integrate it into your real or your life. And there are some realizations that other people may not agree or there are some issues that could come from this. Like, it's a change in other people's thoughts, feelings, emotions about things. Um, but you're just ready to just kind of blast through that. You know, it's like, I, it, we can start dealing with it now. Cause it's not going to change. You know, I'm already on that path no matter what happens or what comes next. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's interesting is I feel like it's taken you a long time, Scorpio, to get started on what this is or to admit to yourself or to get something going, okay? It took a long time, but you were dedicated to it. It's almost like you knew it was something that you wanted, someone that you wanted, a situation that you wanted, and you were dedicated to it. You didn't You didn't let it falter, you, you know, deep down, you were still working on it. You were still there. You were still present. So in April, there's a realization that you always had what you wanted or it was always within grasp. Um, And then you finally get it, like solidify. It is happening. This is it. You're taking it to the next step. And I feel like you're ready to walk away from that time where you didn't have it, the time where you couldn't appreciate it or appreciate the person, whatever it is. Um, It's just, it's almost like a new phase, a new energy. You're just ready to start to move forward and, and just be whole is what I'm getting. Right. Um, I feel like you want to, if you're in a business, you want to open up a store. Um, If you're in in a relationship, you want to start moving in together, maybe um, get engaged. It's like you're ready to take the next step in whatever this is. It's so interesting because you're so adamant or so for real about how you feel that you're like, we can just get to the end of this. You know, like we could just dive right in. I don't have to take it slow. I don't have to take steps. <laughs> like I'll do it for you. I'll do it for, you know, the sake of, of patience and temperance, but really I don't need to because I know what it is that I want, you know? Um, I will say this, if you're dealing with another person, they're a little bit weak minded about the next step. So this is the thing. Um, In relationships, this person is kind of like um, temperamental. Okay, not not that they will leave, but they are emotionally temperamental where you are like, I know what I want 100 percent. I'm deadline and straight for you. You know, they're like excited about taking the next step but they're not confident in themselves it's more about themselves than you or the relationship so keep that in mind 
But what's interesting I love about this is it doesn't really matter to you um, how people feel or what's going on because you see the bigger picture. You understand that there are going to be smaller fights and you're like, good, great, whatever. But I know what my bigger picture is. Very confident, super confident energy, Scorpio. Yeah, keep that same enthusiasm and drive about where you are, okay? That's going to help you go a long way, okay? Because it's like you just need to know that you're there and not let this other person's feelings or, or other people's feelings get in the way of you believing or knowing where you are, okay? Don't, don't let that pull you back, Yeah, this is just a, a hump. April is just a hump. You'll get over it. Things will be fine. Um, you'll start to see that the people or this person that you're dealing with, the opposition, um, it's, it's dealing with themselves. It has nothing to do with the relationship or your situation. It doesn't mean that you need to change. It's like, this person, these people need to deal with themselves and their feelings about things. They're not confident, right? So it causes their actions to be maybe radical or do things that are not right. Um, but it's like an understanding like you know that, okay? I feel that there's <laughs> that you need to be consistent. You know what you know, you feel what you feel, you want what you want, be consistent, okay? Eight of Cups keeps coming up a lot. And I feel like it's because it, there's this eagerness to you, Scorpio, about just making life happen. Doing, like, what needs to be done, you know? Um, if you have to walk away from something, if you have to just be like, you will. But, you, but it doesn't change or waver your feelings at all. I just don't see that. Okay, let's start with working money or career money. New opportunities, new opportunities and not only being presented to you, it's actually something physical that you can step into, something that you can make happen. Um, You're more excited about it too. In April, you're excited about a new opportunity that you have um, where you didn't have this in the past. And it's more like, oh, I didn't have this opportunity. So I'm super excited to take advantage of it now. Moving forward, um, you are not going to take it for granted at all. Um, And you're not going to let work hinder your relationships. That came up in there. We'll leave it. Okay. <laughs> so. It's so interesting because. You feel like I'm not, I'm not just work. I'm not just the rules. I'm my own individual person. And I can follow my dreams and I can do the things I want to be and still be me. You know, I'm not going to mess up. I'm not going to be ignorant. I'm not going to mess anything up, but I can still follow my dreams and do the things that I want and still be me. You know, it's kind of like, I don't have to be a doctor 
because my parents want me to be a doctor. I can be an artist and and still love my parents for not understanding. Something like that. Also, I see you know that a relationship is strong, even though right now there are some issues or some heels to climb in that love or in that connection. You're, you're not, you know that it'll be over soon. Or if you don't, you do now <laughs> know that it'll be over. It won't, it won't go past two months tops, you know, um, It's like when you step over a median or um, you push past something that's been hard because that's where you are right now. Um, There are changes that come. And especially when there's two people, especially in a relationship, you may be gung-ho, ready to go. I'm already set, okay? But the other person may need to deal with their own issues on their own, you know? Um, but I feel like it's some, like that push needed to happen to get other people on board and then things will change the way that they are supposed to. It's not bad. Keep being consistent with what you're doing right now. Um, and don't fall into the trap of changing yourself for others you can listen to perspectives but uh, and like be compassionate and empathetic but I feel like you shouldn't be absorbing all this it's you're more in your own personal energy in April and I will continue to follow that okay we're gonna go into love I'm skipping this yeah Um, it's like somebody didn't see you. Maybe you or they were ignoring something in a love connection, but that's all changing. That has all changed. And I feel like right now you're in some sort of limbo. Do we tell people we're acting like it didn't happen? Um, it, it's some sort of weird limbo where somebody decided that they weren't going to, they weren't going to fight anymore the direction that things were going. We're going to be together. We're going to be together. We're not, we're not, you know, (laughs) like let's stop fighting it. Um, but I feel like it's more like together, like a solid togetherness. Like we are together. We are married regardless of rings and things like that. Um, but I feel like the disputes, the fighting has subsided, um, arguments, disagreements, whatever it is. Um, and right now, both of you are in a really good spot, uh, about the relationship and knowing that it's something that is interesting. It's like abiding your time. to take the next step, whatever the next step is. But eventually you will. But what I'm seeing is this is two people deciding that they're going to be together after ignoring it, after having an argument, whatever it is, regardless of what other people think. It's like out in the open is what I'm feeling. You're really invigorated by new love. That's what's driving you. Um, Because it's like the other option was a breakup, a split up, and sort of a separation from someone that you choose to be with that you feel is your person 
or that you feel connected to. And I feel like once that processed, um, that that was the only other option, it was like, no, thank you. <laughs> um, I will say that some of you have decided, this is a separate thing because I can see it in the cards. Some of you have decided to walk away from someone um, because you tried to move make things better or step things up, take things to the next level. And you just realize that you weren't on the same page. Um, so you're excitedly looking for new love. So it can go both ways. Um, but it's very much knowing what it is you want in heart. And regardless of what other people say, like your friends, like you should stay with them. And you're like, but I'm not feeling it. You're not going to. Um, So with this energy, though, Scorpio, I would say that you need to be confident in your decisions because that's that's the right decision. (laughs) Your feelings, your decision about something is literally the right one. Um, So be confident and listen to yourself. So let's see what the cards say. acceptance of the way things are not trying to convince yourself otherwise yeah this (laughs) yeah be confident you know this is like I'm accepting the way my life is I'm accepting that this is how it is this is where it's going this is what I want right And I'm not going to be self-conscious about what I want and how I want to live my life. I am also an individual. I do not have to follow the rules and regulations of everyone else. Um, You're not going to lie to yourself. You're not. That's what this is. You're just not going to lie to yourself. This is actually a really beautiful reading. Okay. I love you. (laughs) Scorpio. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.